This video teaches you how to do single stroke printing. With single stroke printing, you don't take your pencil off of the paper until each letter is completed, with a couple of exceptions like I, T, and K. Single stroke printing is different from other kinds of printing, such as the stick and ball printing, where you take different pieces and try and remember how to put them together in the right order to make a letter. Single stroke printing is for the lowercase letters. Too many of the uppercase letters require you to lift your pencil off of the paper to make each stroke. Single stroke printing uses basic letter shapes to make all of the other letters in the alphabet, with a couple of exceptions. If you can do one basic shape, then it's not too much work to change that shape to create the other letters that you're trying to print. first simple shape to learn is the letter I. You notice that it starts from the imaginary middle line between the two solid lines. And we always start from the top of our letters and go down. Lots of kids want to start at the bottom, but that causes problems later on. So starting at the top of the I, come down, touch the bottom, and then put your dot. You do have to lift your pencil to make the dot. That's one of the exception letters, remember. From the I, you can make an R by bouncing up again as if you have a rubber ball. You start with the I shape, then you bounce off the bottom line, and you just make a little hook like the ball's falling down. Some kids make the mistake of starting from the bottom, and then they have no way to get that stem on. And others will go backwards but now I have to move all the way over here to make my next letter. The R turns into an N by letting the ball drop to the floor. And an M by letting the ball bounce more than once. You can also turn the I into a J by dropping past that baseline and hooking backwards before you put the dot. It also becomes a P by dropping down past that line and then swinging back up, making that N shape. But before you drop to the bottom here, you curve it backwards to create a round O shape. N shape, but don't stop here. Curve it around so it touches the bottom line and joins up again. This one's pretty tricky. You'll want to practice that a lot. The next letter is the L. The L is just a tall I. Do make sure that you don't start too close to the middle, or people will mistake it for an I. The L becomes a T, but you do have to lift your pencil off the paper to make the cross. You can also make an H by bouncing up the way you make your N. You're just dropping the ball from a little farther up before it bounces. Similar to the H is the B. You bounce up to make that curve, but before you hit the bottom, you swoop around again and join up that circle. Bounce up for the end, but swoop around. 
and then after the B, you have a K, which you have to lift your pencil up for to make this stroke start a little bit past the L, somewhere in the middle between the two main lines. You go halfway down on an angle and then back the other way on an angle. Some kids make the mistake of starting too high and making a capital. And some start too low. So remember, a little bit past the L at the middle, down to halfway between here and here, and then down the other way. And those are all the L letters. After the L shape, you can try the U shape. The U starts like the I, but it creates a little bowl and swings up to touch that line again. Starting at the middle, go down, but around here, start curving, touch the bottom, and then swing back up again. Then, come down again to make a stem or a tail. Swoop, up, down. That U shape turns into a W. You don't need to put the tail on the W. It also can become a Y. By making the tail, but having the tail drop down like you're doing a J. Practice the J first so that you can get a good Y tail. We have V, which is nice and easy. The ball gets thrown down hard at the floor and it bounces up straight instead of in a curve. The V becomes a different kind of W. It doesn't matter which W you use, whatever you're comfortable with. The V does not become a Y. That means that you have to bounce up and then trace back down again, and that's a bit sloppy. So instead, if you want to make that kind of Y, you do have to lift your pencil off the paper.